Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial. Uh, before the video actually starts, the actual video starts, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm very, very sorry for not being active on YouTube recently. It's because I've had a few tests the past weeks and I was pretty much occupied with them, so I didn't have time to make the tutorials. But other than that, uh, I've got about a week and a half of school left, and I'm set to summer. So, pretty excited for that. Um, got a few projects and a website I'm waiting to launch. I'm not done editing the contents and everything. So, here we go uh, with the tutorial. This was actually a request by a user on YouTube. I promised a person I would do it but I haven't it's been a while and I still haven't gotten this video out so here we go uh, the tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the zoom and pan option in Cam Camtasia studio and how to enable auto pan in the recorder so I've got Camtasia up and the clip is on the timeline so let's zoom in a bit to make things easier more accurate Okay, so actually now you have two options. You either have you have apply smart focus and you have zoom and pan. What is smart focus and what is zoom and pan? Smart focus is actually when the studio identifies when to zoom in and when to zoom out during the recording. And most of the time it's not accurate or the zoom is not necessary and it gets dizzy for me. Um so if you don't have time to do your editing you, I recommend using Smart Focus. If you do have time, I recommend use Zoom and Pan. I don't use Smart Focus for my videos because I find it stupid. So, um, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom and Pan. There's no concept really in using Smart Focus because you just click it and it applies and you're set. So, Zoom and Pan basically is click on it and now you just play through your video and on the spot where you want to zoom in let's say for example right here is when I start typing I want to zoom in on that part click this add button add a new keyframe and I get to zoom in where as much as I want so I can zoom in this small or maybe zoom in a bit out okay and just zoom in to where my notepad is and I will apply it and it's already applied on the timeline right here you also get to set your duration I can't really set it because it's barely one minute of the video so I can't go any further but let's play through the video a bit more and pause it wherever I want to zoom out or zoom in more so this is where I want to set my next keyframe click it and I can zoom either out or in more. So say I want to zoom in this much. It's already applied right here. And now I get to set my duration as long as five seconds. But by default I use one second. So there we go. Click finish. And let's play through the video. So there's my first zoom. Let's go through it more second zoom. Okay, so, for, so I'm just sorry for the randomness of the video, but um, it's an example. So People ask me about that green box I get when I zoom in. It's actually the default setting of Camtasia Studio. If you have Camtasia Studio and you use the zoom and pan option, it's already there. But if you want to um, remove that green box, go to Tools, Options, go to Zoom, the Zoom tab, and uncheck the uh, apply zoom and pan hints. That's what's causing the green box. So if I remove that, it's if I uncheck that, the green box is removed. But if you like the green box, you can check it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the zoom and pan part of the video. But um, for auto pan, I'm going to change and use another recorder because I can't show you through all the settings of the Camtasia recorder if I'm using it. So I'll be back in a second. 
Okay, everyone, just to let you guys know, I am recording with Cam Studio 2.5 Beta. You can get a free version of this at Cam. Well, it is a free program, so you can get it free at camstudio.org. Okay, so on to the video. I guess um, the person requesting the video asked me about how to um, adjust our settings and get it to something like this the settings I'm using right now, which is called Auto Pan. It's when I move around on my computer and actually the 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 window or the selection that I recorded actually follows my mouse around. Um, so very simply on Camtasia go to effects down here in zoom pan you see auto pan make sure that is checked and there you go you've got auto pan but if you're recording full screen you won't see the auto pan take take effect because you you can't really move around on your screen if it's already full screen so let's say you're recording this small area and when you're recording the area will move around with you so basically that's how you apply the auto pan and you can also um, edit some stuff with auto pan like the speed by going to this effects options right here in zoom you can actually change the auto pan speed um, if you have a slow computer I wouldn't recommend going too fast because it would cause major lag and um, so basically that is it for this video thanks for checking this video out and I'm sorry again for my absence um, so that's pretty much it thanks for checking out this video and for your support I really appreciate it Thank you guys so much. I'm on my way to 200 subscribers. It took me a while, but I don't mind. So thank you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video.